This ain't slow though. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the Ultimate Ram Truck, a Ram 3500 Limited Dually. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this Ram 3500. This one is available for sale right now. If you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel. Now there's two different transmission options and two different power output options for the 3500. So you've got the 68 RFE, which would give you 370 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque. And then you have the six speed Ison, which would give you 420 horsepower and then 1,075 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of this 3500. So you guys can see there with the cargo lights at the top, we've got our 3500 heavy duty badge here. LED lights, they look really cool here with the limited. We got the fog lights down below, parking sensors on the front end with the chrome tow hooks. Giant, giant chrome front grille here. And also we got a camera there at the bottom of the A and the Ram logo. And she means business. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 35 millimeter tires dropped on 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And you know, you can see pretty basic design with the wheels, pretty typical for a dually truck. And then here's a quick look at that heavy duty front suspension. And then notice here with the body painted fender flare, you got our Cummins turbo diesel badge here, Ram limited logo. This has the trailer tow mirrors, which do flip up. This also has some fixed side steps there on the side. There's your full side view. Now, what you guys will probably notice is there's that little marker light there on the side. And get ready for the beefiest leaf springs of all time. Look at those fellas. That's what you get when you get a dually. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote starting on the tailgate drop down. Payload capacity is 5,234 pounds as stated by the door jam sticker. And you can see this has a bunch of uh, tow stuff, including the uh, fifth wheel and everything in there. Notice here, LED lights in the bed. And being a dually, this has an eight foot long bed, which is super practical for hauling and towing. And then lifting this up, Super easy to get into place. And I guess we'll finish things up with the rest of the rear. So you guys will probably notice we've got these nice LED tail lights here on the back end. Parking sensors here all along the back. We do have the kick step here at the very bottom with the truck. Now with a 410 axle ratio on the Ison, this Dually Limited would be able to tow well over 30,000 pounds. Now here's the door panel in the rear with the limited. You can see beautiful leather all over. And this truck has like 20,000 miles, I think, on it. And it's held up very nicely. And then here are the seats, as you guys can see again with the perforated leather. Notice here, we've got heated seats for the back. We've got our USBs full outlet and you got the cup holder area. And we do have nice under seat storage as well. We got a little latch right there. And being a crew cab, this does have the ice buckets on top of that. And so you go. Here is the front door panel. You guys can see again, really nice leather and wood trim all over. We've got blind spot running for the trailer tow mirrors. They do power fold in. You can adjust the convex mirror at that function. Memory seats as well, automatic for the front two windows. And look at these front seats again. Really nice with all of the leather. You've got your power adjustments there on the side. Pretty normal with the pedal layout, nothing too crazy happening there. Light controls here with the fog light and then the cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Got the pedal adjustment here and then look at the rest of the trim and let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel with this 3500. You guys can see the wood trim here at the top and then down below as well. And you can see here with the leather trim on the side. Got our gear limiter here. This does have adaptive cruise control, rated controls on the back. Got our voice command controls for the center stack. Turn signal, windshield wiper stock. And then here is the column shifter. Definitely a cool look, has the nice leather trim on it. There you go. Now here is the gauge cluster for the truck. You guys can see here with the RPMs and then notice the speed on the other side. And then notice here with the uh, fuel economy of this truck. Now I don't know if this truck was used for towing or whatever. And you guys can see there with the mileage. Um, and I, when I say I don't know, Obviously it has all the towing kit in the back, but I don't know like how often I guess is the point I'm trying to make. But anyways, 
there's the center. Now we've got the giant 12 inch display here in the center portion. If we pop it into reverse, we've got the 360 camera system, which is fantastic. Notice here we've got the bed cam, side cams. You got all sorts of cameras that will let you see every single angle on the truck. And then notice here the lane departure at the top and then stability control. Climate controls flank either side. We have heated cooled seats here for the front. Shortcut bar here at the bottom so I can scroll through different menus if you want. And then notice this one also has the air suspension as well in the rear. So you can actually lower the bed, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's everything for that section. Notice we've got our auxiliary switches, all six of them. And then notice here with the parking sensors, diesel exhaust brake, tow haul mode, and then your alternate trailer height, because again, this has the air suspension, trailer brake controls, and then our drive line select with our two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and then our true neutral. We've got a bunch of USBs right here, and you can see with the wireless phone charger, and then we've got the sliding center console, and you guys can see storage space in here is great. Double glove box. I guess uh, we got some uh, chips left for us. Window sticker, so we can see the original MSRP. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys can see there with the face of the glove box has limited. Really nice leather here on the dash. This does have the camera mirror as well. Um, power sliding window. There you go. So here's our window sticker for this limited, and this must have been a very early build for 2022. Obviously, it's got 18,000 miles, so that kind of like alludes to that, but the pricing also kind of does too. So this one has the 68 RFE, as we can see with the window sticker. Let's see the other options on this particular one. Fifth wheel prep. Okay, again, 68 RFE, so we got the regular Cummins. 50 gallon fuel tank as well. Pretty cool setup. Anyways, $90,000 for the MSRP. This truck today is probably like almost $100,000 now because of the MSRP increases. Uh, anyways, see how she drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both of the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in this dually with the 68 RFE and a 3.73 axle ratio, which means this truck tows what, somewhere in the mid 20s um, for the towing capacity. And I know some people are gonna be able to wondering why would you not just get the max tow package? Well, with the 373s, you're gonna get better fuel economy on the highway because you're gonna be at lower RPMs. And, you know, some people don't, not everyone needs to tow over 30,000 pounds, right? So there is that. And, you know, the thing with the dually is you're gonna have added stability with towing. Um, that's why Ram used to actually do uh, six, four Hemi dualies, which was so weird. I remember working at the Ram dealership when they had them. This ain't slow though, that's for sure. I mean, obviously unloaded. And you know, this is definitely, you know, unloaded. It's a kind of a rough ride, but it's not as bad as dualies used to be. I remember when I first started working at the uh, Ram dealership back in the day. I feel old now. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I remember like trucks were a lot rougher. Now they're just like full-blown luxury vehicles. And even unloaded, it's it's a pretty comfortable ride. It's so torquey. Love the Cummins because of the torque. Now, aside from that, seat comfort's great. Uh, the air-conditioned seat function. Ah, no, not heating. Well, now, we're have a, now we have a kerfuffle. There we go, go away, thank you. That's a little annoying with the infotainment system with that. But well, as I was saying, the air conditioned seat function is definitely nice. Yeah, coming in clutch, 97 degrees still. Jeez, it's so hot today. Um, aside from that, uh, I, I, super nice truck. Like, you know, who would get this truck or why would you get this truck? This basically is, you know, maybe like you own a ranch or something, right? So you want something that is daily drivable from a comfort perspective. So that's why you get the nice limited interior. Um, and you know, you obviously need something that's gonna tow, but you're not necessarily gonna be towing every single day. Now I'm interested to see how easy this is to fit into the parking space because it is absolutely, positively massive. This is where the mirrors come in clutch as well as the camera system when you're gonna let this Ford go by. Hello Ford! Squeeze on by. That's a cool Ford by the way. Whoever owns that. Lifted and nice fender flares and everything. Um, anyways, 
yeah if, if you're gonna be you know not necessarily towing every single day and you know on top of that you know you want something that's a little bit more luxurious man i'm gonna get like completely roasted by the dually community they're gonna be like ben you could i could have done that in one backup okay you know what my truck is like half the length of this and also these trucks on either side are not perfectly even i know i'm making excuses for myself but also this shows you like with a dually it's not necessarily the easiest to park man i can't imagine having to do this every single day that'd be so nerve-wracking accidentally scraping your hundred thousand dollar truck into someone else's hundred thousand dollar truck it's possible like i feel like anyone can park this just with enough tries um yeah, look at that we squeezed right on in but yeah let me know what you guys think about this package if you think this is worth it or if you think you would go up to the ison with the 410 rear end that's because something's up for our video on this Ram 3500 Limited. And with that being said, again, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with the truck. I will see all of you in the next video.